Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, big hello and welcome. My name is Christine and if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your incredible support. So as the title suggests, this is an Aldi haul. So um, I have got like two bags of stuff to show you and also a couple of items for the garden. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have all had a really nice relaxing Easter, whatever you've been up to, and just get yourselves a nice hot drink and come and chill out with me, and I hope that you enjoy watching tonight's video. If you do, please remember to put a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. That would really mean the world to me. So yeah, I have got a nice cup of tea in my little glass panda mug. So I got this from Asda um, a while back now. I think it was something like £2 or £2.50. Mm, I love a good cup of tea. Okay, so let's get on with today's video. Okay, so I'll start off with this bag. So just to let you know, I haven't bought a great deal of food. Um, I'm still actually getting my HelloFresh boxes. So I get a, a HelloFresh box delivered normally on a Saturday and I am currently getting four meals for four people per week. Um, I've actually just changed the day. So from next week, um, I'm gonna start receiving them on a Monday, which I think will just work out better. They'll be more fresh because I, I'm cooking my recipes Monday to Thursday. So yeah. Um, so I didn't need like a great deal of food because like I say I've already got um, pretty much the week sorted with my HelloFresh. But the first item that I picked up is this um, seeded loaf. So this is the speciality selected range from Aldi. It's a super seed farmhouse. It's baked with sunflower, pumpkin, millet, linseed and poppy seeds. Um, so yeah, I have not had seeded bread for ages um, because my husband does like it but the kids prefer like white bread so I tend to just get white bread um, but yeah, I just fancied some seeded bread so I picked up that and I think this was something like 79 pence um, and it's a large loaf, you get 800 grams in here. So I picked this up because um, this will come in handy for like light lunches for um, through the week um, and also for breakfast. So that was the first item. And then I picked up an avocado and I think these were 75 pence I want to say each which is quite expensive but avocados are expensive no matter where you go. Um, so this is already a ripe, it's already ripe. Um, and you can normally tell because the softer they are and um, they tend to go like black when they are at their ripest. So I picked that up and I'll probably have that either tomorrow or the next day for my breakfast. And like I say, I'm going to have that on some seeded toast with some um, maybe egg, bacon, that kind of thing. Mm. And I find it's really yummy and really filling. So I got that. And then I just picked up a packet of bananas. So my son absolutely loves bananas. So I'm not sure how much these were. I think these were only 39 pence. You get five bananas in the pack. Um, I mean, they're just like a small to medium size. So I got them. And also I quite fancy making um, banana bread next week. So I thought I would pick the bananas up and if at the end of the week we have one or two left, I might reuse them and do a banana bread. So it's, I've never actually had banana bread. Um, so I don't know why, I just fancied making one. Okay, so the next item that I got from Aldi is this bacon. So this is, again, the speciality selected range. Um, this is British outdoor bread, eight dry cured back bacon rashers, and these ones are smoked. I didn't actually realize, I thought that they were unsmoked, but 
that's fine. So um, I picked them up because, like I say, the kids are off school for the next two weeks. Um, unbelievable, like they've just gone back and now they're off for two weeks for Easter. So um, I thought that would come in handy for like making a carbonara or, um, you know, if they just want a bacon sandwich for the breakfast or for lunch. So got them. And I think this is something like, I want to say £2.19 pence. Um, I'm really sorry everyone, I'm hopeless at this, aren't I? I um, haven't got my receipt, but never mind. I, I'm normally pretty good at remembering how much prices the prices of the stuff is. So the next item that I picked up is just a French brie. I absolutely love French brie. This is a mild and creamy one because um, I don't like my brie too strong. And again, I will have this for maybe um, a nice lunch. So I just thought I would pick that up. And if you have seen a previous video, I was explaining in that, that what I like to do with this is I like to cut it into like cubes or triangles and um, I like to dip it in, in egg and then cover it in breadcrumbs, pop it in the oven for like 15 minutes. Um, and then I like to have it with some side salad and a spoonful of jam. So honestly, if you haven't tried brie with jam, it's just absolutely lovely. Um, so yeah, got that. Then I picked up another garlic puree. So these are really, really handy to have. Saves you peeling and chopping garlic up. Um, and the 75 grams in here, and um, these are 69 pence, which I think is really, really good. So I got a garlic. I've been using loads of that lately because I've been doing my own uh, garlic bread. And then the next thing I picked up is these Alcaf Time Caramel Lattes, frothy and creamy instant sachets. And the, I'm pretty sure these were either 59 or 69 pence, which I just think is amazing. I've been getting these from like um, Poundland, from B&M, and I've been paying like a pound or just over. So when I seen these, I was like, 59 pence? I'm sure they were 59 pence. And you actually get eight sachets in here. So yeah, caramel latte is my favorite. You could also get um, cappuccinos. You could get, I think it was like a double chocolate mocha, mocha something like that. Um, all 59 pence, which I thought was great. So I got one of them. And then, let's have a look. So I just picked up some waffles for the kids for their breakfast. So these are um, waffles, but they've got the hazelnut chocolate through them. Honestly, these are absolutely beautiful. So you get eight in a pack. Um, they're twin wrapped for freshness, and they're just chocolate and hazelnut flavor filled waffles. Honestly, the kids absolutely love these. Um, and just a real treat. They like to have these in a couple of strawberries cut up. Um, a bit of fruit, so I picked them up and try to think of how much they were. Again, I think there was something like 79 pence, something like that for them. And then, let's have a look. I also picked up a bottle of, again, the Speciality Selected range. This is um, British Rapseed Oil, and this was on offer for £1.19, which I thought was great because it's, what size bottle is this? So this is 500 mils. So it's a really good size bottle and um, my hubby, I used to get extra virgin olive oil all the time but my hubby um, loves the rapeseed oil, he prefers to cook with this. So I got that and then I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. Oh that is so nice. Okay, so what else did I get from LD? Just found my bank card in the bat the bot the bottom in the bottom of the bag. That is how hopeless I am. Okay. Oh, and there's the receipt after all of that. Never mind. Okay, so the next items I picked up is tins of soup. So again, if you have seen any of my other videos, I have often spoke about this soup. So again, this is the speciality selected range. Um this is the rich and smoky tomato and chorizo soup. 
and I've had this a few times, absolutely love it. This is 75 pence a tin. You can actually get a chicken and smoked bacon one. Um, and I've never seen this one. So this is sweet and smoky, sun-dried tomato, lentil and smoked paprika. And I just think that that sounds so, so nice. So um, yeah, pick that one up. Again, 75 pence. And they will be really good, like I say, for like a light lunch for myself for through the week. Um, okay, so then I picked up some um, face wipes. So these are biodegradable for all skin types and they're fragrance free. Just says that they're made from responsibly sourced plant fibres. They're vegan and they're also cruelty free. And these were 39 pence for a packet, which I just think is so, so good. So you get 25 wipes. And I've started using these wipes. Um, I've been picking them up from Home Bargains, um, from B&M. Um, and I think they're, well, they're definitely more expensive than 39 pence. This, this is the cheapest that I've ever seen them. So I thought that they were good. And then I picked up some twin pack of cotton wool pads so you get two times 100 pads in here and obviously that is in there and um, yeah these come in really handy for just obviously putting toners on and um, for removing eye makeup all kinds of things I always have these in and um, they're also good for removing nail polish so I picked them up and actually how much were these? So um, these were only 59 pence, which again, if you went to like Boots or Superdrug or anywhere like that, um, you can't get these for 59 pence. So bargain. And then I picked up this Fabulosa disinfectant spray. So I first picked this up from Cherries um, in a Cherries haul that I did a while back. This is the lemon mint leaf and honestly I just absolutely love it. So you can get lots of different scents in this Fabulosa spray. Um, so it just says it's ready to use formula, eliminates odours, long lasting freshness, cleans and shines and like I say it's a concentrated disinfectant spray. Um, I have smelt the other scents and they're not horrible but this is definitely my favourite so this is only a pound um, and I've never actually seen this scent in Aldi so when I seen it I grabbed it I would have actually got more but this was the only um, one like they must have had probably 50 bottles of um, spray but this was the only one that I could see in the lemon mint leaf scent so if you haven't seen this scent and you do see it honestly you have to try it. it is amazing okay and then the next item that i picked up is a candle so this is a starlight this is called starlight um and this is the net weight is 340 grams um, it's just a scented candle, it's cruelty free, it says, um, I imagine that this is a paraffin, I, I imagine this candle does contain paraffin, because um, most candles do. Um, let's have a little look, I didn't actually look to see. Um, oh, I can't see, it doesn't really see, I don't think, but, oh, it smells so, so nice. And this was, um, I think this was three pound, let's have a look, or two pound something, let's have a look, candle, three pound 29 for this. And again, you could get lots of different scents in these candles. You could get a green one, there was a um, like a burgundy one, I think there was a cinnamon one. Um, there was also a, a bit like a, a one that looked like a birthday cake with all the hundreds and thousands on the front. In fact, I think it might have been called birthday cake. Um, but this was my favourite. Oh, so that is so, so lovely. Um, so yeah, I picked that up. I thought that that was really good for £3.29. Um, and like I say, it doesn't actually say 
the ingredients in it but like I say it probably does contain paraffin so um candles and wax melts and tea lights um if you don't know quite often contain paraffin and I've been just kind of doing some research and I've been trying to get products that are um soya wax based because it's just better all around for like health and the environment um so wherever possible, I do try and pick them up if they are soya wax. Believe it or not, it's quite hard to actually get soya wax candles. I know that TK Maxx have a lot of soya wax candles, so I am really looking forward to them opening um, on the 12th of April. But yeah, um, couldn't resist. Just thought it smelled so nice and just a really, really good price. So yeah, got that. And then the next item that I got um, is this um, Lakura Original Hot, is that how you say it? Lakura Original Hot Cloth Cleanser with Muslim Cloth. It says it gently cleanses and exfoliates the skin to leave it feeling soft and smooth. It's dermatologically tested, vegan friendly. It says it's skincare with cocoa butter, eucalyptus oil, and extracts of chamomile, rosemary, and white tea. So this is actually um, the original one, I believe. And you can actually get a blue one, which um, I think says it's got hydraulic, I don't know if it's um, some sort of hydraulic anyway, um, based in it. So yeah, this was, let's have a little look. Okay, so this hot cloth cleanser was £3.99. So the reason I picked this up, um, I watched, um, well, I've been watching lots of people's videos on YouTube, um, and one of the ladies, um, ee, my mind's gone blank, um, Juliet, she is called, um, from being Mrs. Dudley, and, um, yeah, so she had picked this up, and... I just thought she was saying that was like a dupe to um, the Liz Earl. So I actually use the Liz Earl. So here it is. This is the, the Liz Earl. And this knocks you back like £20 for 100ml. So this is only a 50ml. Um, and this was a £10. So the reason I've got this size, it's well, it's good for travelling. But when I went into my local boots store, um, a few weeks ago they didn't have the bigger ones they only had this size left so I picked this up and this cost me £10 like I say for 50 mils and you get a muslin um, cloth with it which feels quite rough um, so that's the one that says Liz Earl on it and so I have been using this for like over seven year like probably ten year or something I've actually been using this product and um, so when I heard about this one, I thought, right, I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to do like a little tutorial of this in a moment, but I, I'll just share the rest of the items first that I got. So the next couple of items are for the garden. So the first item that I got is this lovely little um, solar flickering flame lantern 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 so it just says this is the black one it's a beautiful fake rattan lantern creates a flickering flame lighting effect bringing ambience to the garden and patio so that is it there and if i just put my hand over there you can see how it looks when it comes on and actually i will just pop the light off for two minutes just to see if it shows you a bit better there it is there so how absolutely adorable is that so i really really like that and i would have picked up two of these except there was only one left on the shelf so you have to be really really quick in aldi so if you like the look of this and you see them in your local aldi store then grab them so i'll just pop the light back on Okay, so this was £7.99 and it's a really good size, obviously, you know, if I put it against my head, it is like a really good size. It's got the lovely handle so that you can hang it up um, 
and yeah I just thought it was really really nice love how it glows and flickers so that is the first item that I got for the garden and then I picked up two of these cone hanging baskets so this is them here and this just says garden line decorate decorative hanging basket it's water resistant pre-lined perfect for displaying plants and flowers and it's a 12 inch cone gray so as you can see they're lined and that is it there and it's a strange kind of material it's like a like a plasticky like a bamboo plastic so you could get this in the brown or the gray and you could also get this in the cone or you know the more traditional round ones um, but I really do like the cone shaped ones I just think that they're a bit more modern so these were £4.99 so I got two of these and I'm really really happy with them they're really really sturdy and now I'm going to do my little tutorial so I've got a bowl of water here which um, is lovely and warm the water and what I'm gonna do I am just gonna give this a try so I haven't washed my face um, since this morning so there is the muslin cloth that you get with it and I'm just gonna drop that in and let it soak up the water and then so yes so apply a small amount onto dry skin gently massage it in the face and then you wipe off with the cloth do, 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 do. okay so can you give this a try so like I say I have been using the Liz Earl for many many years and that smells I'm not gonna lie, it smells exactly the same as Lizelle. You can smell like the eucalyptus in it. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of pop this on in circular motions. Okay, so that feels really, really lovely. It actually does feel pretty much the same as your normal Liz Earl would. I've put quite a bit on, probably too much, but never mind. I think the Liz Earl might be slightly thicker, um, but it definitely smells exactly the same. So now that my cloth has soaked up all of the water, now I'm going to use this to sweep away all of this excess cream. So honestly, it just feels as if I am using the Liz Earl. The muslin cloth doesn't feel any different to the Lizelle one. Okay. So it does say um, the same as the Lizelle that you can kind of um, put cold water on your face afterwards just to kind of close your pores and stuff. Um, I don't normally bother to be honest. Okay. So I'm just making sure that I've properly 
taken it all off and that is it and I just get rid of that okay so I've just done my face and whew, it feels super fresh it's feeling really really soft like honestly this I am so so pleased with this product um, I'm so glad that I heard about it so you get 200 mils of this for £3.99 and your muslin cloth and um, yeah so if you were to buy this size one from the Lizzle in the 200 mil I'm pretty sure well it is more than £20 and um, because it's £20 just for like the 150 mil so this is an absolute bargain and yeah honestly my skin is dry now and it just feels exactly the same as when I use my Lizzle. So that is a real bargain. Um, definitely five stars for that product. And that is it everyone. So I hoped that you enjoyed watching. And I will see you all again very soon for another video. Um, I'll be back in a couple of days with... I'm going to be doing a video talking about all of my favourite things right now and also favourite things of all time. Um, so like things that I have, that I've had maybe for, you know, years and years that I still absolutely love. So I will see you then. Take care and bye for now.